in this video, I mill up this massive maple tree. It's 25 inches on the small end, uh, 26 inches on the big end. I cut it to 10 foot, six inch length, and my tractor still won't be able to pick it up. So weight calculator that I use says it weighs approximately 2,200 pounds, and I believe it. I try a couple different methods to get it on the mill, and I resort back to the old ramps. And that method always works out. I'm using my steel 441 here. Seems to be doing pretty well. I actually thought the tractor would lift it using this method. I have it strapped up to a couple of uh, log tongs and it's hanging directly underneath the forks instead of out on the forks. But it still didn't lift it. I can't lift it guys. According to the weight calculator, it's about 2,200 pounds. I can get it off the ground about six inches. So what I'm gonna need to do, I broke my ramps. So we gotta make some new ramps to get this up. So we will go get another log, get this out of the way. Tips and tricks <laughs> dealing with large logs on the mill. You saw I couldn't lift that log up. So what I'm going to do, I broke my beams. Well, my son-in-law and my boy broke them. So I'm going to make two new beams. See if I can get them both out of this. Let's see how big this is. It's got a pretty good crack. So we're only going to use part of it anyhow. 11 inches. So the crack looks like it goes to here, so that'd be good. We'll get that little flare off. I'm going to guess it's about 10 down here. Okay, the it's 10 feet, 6 inches. It's 10 inches down here, and we got some cracking to here. So we can get an 8 foot easily out of there. I'll make them 8 foot long. I'll snip them off with the chainsaw. And let's see if we can get 3, I'm sorry, 2, 3 by 7s or 4 by maybe four by eight we might be able to get eight inches out of this camp most likely seven if we can get seven we'll get uh two three by sevens or yeah two three and a half by sevens and that will hold that log that's 2200 pounds we'll, we'll par buckle it up actually we'll probably just roll it up with the tractor all right i'm going in for lunch
So when you get a mill and you get, you know, an OS27 or an OS31, how are you going to get it up here? My 34 horse tractor, 34 and a half, will not lift that oak, I'm sorry, that maple at 10 foot long, 25 inches in diameter. According to the log calculator, it weighed about 2,200 pounds. So how are you going to get it up? You build a set of ramps and you power buckle it. Now I have a winch uh, I can stick in the pocket and roll it up, but I'm just going to roll it up with the tractor and the forks to spin it up. So watch how I do this. So you have to have a way to get these logs up. A 50 horse tractor would be perfect for this mill. I think it would handle it. I can get the log up about six inches. <laughs> I don't know if I can clamp this, but we'll see. You know, let's see if this will even clear. I think it will. So, I'm going to jam these under. There's no, I can't get a clamp on it though. My God, let's see how many. Whew. So, this one log well, might be 320 board feet. So this log, Jesus, this thing, this is the biggest maple I've ever done. That's 276 board feet, 26 in that direction. So between 276 and 302 board feet, guys. You can't really see it. Here I am. Don't trip over my big wood, hon. Just had to come out and see it. See my wood. So it's maple. It's got some spolting around the edges. You can see where it kind of rotted in. But that will make some good lumber. So it's 25 and a half. So we're looking at close to 300 board feet. This blade will make it. Beautiful. All right. I'm going in for a break. My wife and I have some chores. Let's put some cuts in this, guys. This is a big log, but I think we can do it. See if we can get this started. I don't even know if I can reach up there. So if you're working with big wood, guys, how are you going to roll it? If you have a tractor, it's easy to roll. If you have a log PV, I can't roll this. Like I said, it weighs 2,000 pounds. So I use the strap method in the tractor. So I'm going to slip this underneath. So I go around, and you have to go the right way around or you'll roll it off the mill. Now I have these pretty low, but it will work. And then you set this underneath. Oh, I think I'll go a little farther yet. There we go. We'll hook that with the fork.
I'm gonna cut this maple into six inch cans. So then all I have to do is stand them up and rip three quarter inch boards off. And that will give me my three quarter inch by six inch board. So I'll get three of these cans out of this one log. I think there's six by 18. See if I can flip this. There you have it guys, how to break down a big log. Now the OS 27 claims that it can do a 27 inch log. And I actually did a pine that was 28 on one side, one end and it was like 27 or 26 on the small side and you had to chisel it out. Um, this log was 26 and 25. It was really equal, 25 and a half, 25, 26, 25. Very equal. It was a maple however, it wasn't a pine so it was really heavy. Weighed 2,200 pounds according to the weight calculator that I use. But you can see how I handled it. You know, if your tractor won't pick it up, you have to come up with plan B. Uh, power buckle it up. Or ramps with the tractor. So I, I've used the power buckle methods with the cable. I have a video, a couple of videos out there showing me doing that. But this time I just rolled it up with the tractor. Um, so we had to make some beams to get this up there though. You may have saw that in another video i don't know if i put that in a video or not but this is 18 or almost 20 inches by six inches so this you make one by six is now or three quarter by six no all this would be waste in fact we'll we get a lot of stickers all through here and on this side so really only this part of it probably about 16 inches of it will be boards how do you turn it can you turn a log are you strong enough to turn a log with uh no log turner, uh, using a log right camp pole or some other manufacturer's camp pole, can you turn your log? I couldn't turn this, so you saw me use a tractor and some straps. So everything is just more difficult when you have big logs like this. You know, everybody, they yield a lot of wood. Everybody thinks it's better, but my favorite log size is, to be honest with you, probably 16 to 17. Um, 20 inch logs pretty nice i'll make a 14 inch camp so i like not much over 20 you know you start getting over 20 i can't turn them without the tractor even the pines you know they you can turn them at about 20 22 and much bigger than that they start getting really heavy for old people like me us old guys i'm relatively fit still for my age but it's uh it's getting harder and harder it really is so that's how i break down these big logs Leave me a comment, and how do you break it down your big logs? Uh, did you get it, do you do it similar to me? How do you turn your big logs? How do you get your big logs up in the mill? Do you go back and cut more wood out of those slabs? You know, you got a big 27 inch log. The height of my mill will only go 21 inches, not 22 like they claim, it'll only go 21 inches. 
So that means I have a six inch thick slab on top. I could probably get some more lumber out of this, but this, this is spalted. You might be able to see it in the, but the, uh, I wouldn't, I wouldn't cut any more of that out of there. It was, it was pretty punky right on the edge. So, you know, what do you do with that big slab? Can you handle those big slabs? I can't carry those. Well, I can carry them to some extent, but two people can by yourself. You're going to need a tractor or some means to handle those big slabs. And then where are you going to take them to? So a lot of things to consider before accepting a big log, guys. All right, guys. Take care. We'll see you at the mill next time. One last thing I forgot to mention, guys. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment. Those comments really help out. Um, nothing's worse than having a video and nobody's commenting on it. It's, you know, like, oh, man, I missed the mark on that one. You just never know what video is going to take off. But leave a comment and uh, subscribe. Please subscribe to the channel. It will help the channel grow. So, you know, we're doing the best we can with the limited resources we have. Take care, guys. We'll see you at the mill next time.